are the fastest high schoolers to ever grace a football field? What's up, everybody? Hope you're having a super blessed day and welcome back to Shot Sports. And today we're going to be taking a look at the fastest five high school football players to ever grace a football field. Real quick, if you haven't seen, about a week ago I made a video on an eighth grader that already runs a legitimate 10 second hundred and runs a laser 4-4. Four so if you guys want to check that video out, you guys can go click over there. Also, real quick, because I, I have to as a YouTuber, if you haven't already, you know, you already know the deal. Be sure to leave the video a like, hit that subscribe button, turn your notifications, you know, the whole spiel. But it's not just a spiel, it actually really makes a difference so if you can leave this video a like to be great but let's get into it and see who the top five fastest high school football players of all time are three two one Psh. So real quick, I ranked everybody by their 100 meter dash time. So not the 40 yard dash, but the 100 meter dash. If it's good enough for the Olympics, it's gonna be good enough for this list. And coming in at number five is a name that we all should've known is gonna be on this list. It is none other than Tyreek Hill, who in high school ran a 10.19 second 100 meter dash. And he was doing stuff like this, bro. Get up out of there, let's go. But hey, you know, hey, I, I know you guys knew that Tyreek Hill was gonna be on this list, but he's number five. That means that there are four high school football players who ran a faster 100 meter yard, uh, 100 meter yard, oh, man, listen. 100 meter dash time than Tyreek Hill. My boy, he flying out here, bro. There was nobody coming even close to catching him. And as we should all know, Tyreek Hill, to me, out of all the players that are on this list, Tyreek Hill is the most football fast. There are guys who are track fast, you know, who when they got when they got the spandex on when they got the light when they got the light track spikes on they're fast but then there's the dudes who can put on the eight pound helmet the 10 pound 15 pound shoulder pads the the restraining uh football pants and still got that speed tyree kill is football fast like this dude he could just he can make he can get it done wherever he where like literally wherever Bro, they were just getting my man the ball. And then his change of direction is filthy. I mean, his, he, he's able to stop. He's able to go from running that 10.19 second uh, 100 time, come to a complete stop, and then be right back to top speed in no time flat. Oh, nope. Get him off. off. Bro. Oh, I thought he was about to really kill that kid for a second. Bro, he literally just outruns tackle angles. Like, guys, like, he's literally just moving at a completely different speed than everybody else on the field. And coming in at number four, we take a huge step up. If Tyree, with Tyreek Hill ran 10.19, Anthony Schwartz coming in at number four ran 10.07 in the 100 in high school. I'm talking, of course, about the former Auburn Tiger, current Cleveland Brown receiver, Anthony Schwartz, bro. This dude. We just went, we literally dropped over a 10. We went from 10.19 to 10.07. This is literal Olympic level speed. 10.07 is good enough to get you into Olympic qualifiers. Olympic qualifiers in high school. Like that's crazy. Bro, corner, you, you might just stop, just stop running. Just save your energy, just save your energy. Just get ready for the next possession. Stop running. There's no, there's no, there's no chance that you're ever catching up to him. Bro, I mean, just look at the wheels, man. Look, there's no, no, bro, he's able to, he's able to pull away from anybody. You're not catching him. And anybody who runs track should know how impressive 10.07 is. 10.07 is nuts. Like, like if you run an 11 like a, a 11 flat in high school you're like one of the fast like if you go to an average high school if you run an 11 flat you are going to be probably the fastest dude in your county he ran 1007 that's crazy and he made it all the way bro there's two dudes who went and took this olympic level speed all the way to the nfl And just outrun the whole everything. Just outrun everybody. It's too easy. And coming in at number three, and the dude who actually, I, I completely forgot about this dude, but I was watching some track highlights, and the guy who actually gave me inspiration to make this list is none other than Marvin Bracy, the four star former Florida State standout. Ran 10.05, bro. Like, we're talking, like, th like this is just crazy speed. 10.05 back in high school. 
yeah i remember watching marvin bracy this dude i mean look at bro look at the wheels man gets hit boom nope nobody catches up to him he just out bro 1005 we're, we're talking just mind-boggling speed this is uh, like if you if you've ever ran against somebody who runs a legitimate 4-4 on the football field you think that they're the fastest person you've ever seen these guys are legitimately running like 4-3 flats four high four twos in high school bro like insane and then if you let them get into the open field it just gets worse because they're not you're not catching them i mean absolute blur yeah, no, Marvin Bracey. I remember watching his 60 meter dash time in high school. Insane, literally insane. Now this he, this dude is a full time track athlete, and he's pretty much on the cusp. He's like, he's right there to to making an Olympic team. Like, pretty much, if if you were to take the top six fastest dudes in the hundred in the United States, he's gonna be on that list. Yeah, pretty much you know, his only limiting factor is how far can the quarterback throw it. Ooh, and he could also take a hit too. Jeez. Oh, got behind the secondary. Bro, literally, if the quarterback just had an arm to get it out to him, he would be absolutely dusting everybody. And coming in at number two, a name that should sound very familiar seeing that he just ran a 4-2-3 in the 40 at this year's combine. I'm of course talking about Kalen Barnes who in high school ran a 1004. I'm telling like this is a this is ridiculous level speed, bro. Like I know we we made a big jump from Tyree Kill to Anthony Schwartz, but now I mean to to be dropping off even a thousandth or a hundredth of a second like is impressive. Like it, we're we're talking just ridiculous speed for a high schooler. Like these dudes are still growing, still, still getting faster. And as we should all know, he ran 10 to 3, or 10 to 3. He ran 4 to 3 in the 40 this year at the combine. And that's with him only focusing on football uh, at the University of Baylor. Just imagine if he would have kept on running track. I mean, he probably now runs 995, probably in the 100. Now that he's gotten older, like he definitely still has that ridiculous speed. I mean, and then just gone. You're just not catching him. He's just that's just a light day in, in in the in the park for him. He's just jogging out there, just 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 striding some light. Angles, nope. And then this is what makes him a This is what makes him such an interesting prospect. Now that he switched over to corner, he was a receiver coming out of high school. Now he's listed as a corner. Having that level of speed, you're you're simply just not going to be able to run over the top of him. Like he is always as long pretty much his only thing he's gotta worry about is being able to get out of his back pedal. If he can get out of his back pedal, nobody's gonna be able to keep up with him. Again, he's only limited by how far the quarterback can throw it. He was a mile behind that corner, and the quarterback just couldn't get the ball out to him quick enough. And last, but certainly not least, coming in at number one. You guys may, may not have heard this name before, but if you've been following college football for a while, this dude was the face of the Florida Gators when Florida was on top of the college football world. I'm, of course, talking about the fastest man to ever touch a high school football field, Jeff Demps. This dude ran a 10 Oh, one second hundred meter dash. This dude was the, him and Chris Rainey were the face of the Florida Gators. Another name that you guys might not have heard of in a minute. When Florida, before Oregon was the speed team of of the college football world, it was Florida. Everybody knew Florida. If you if you were gonna play Florida, you had a you 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 better you better stretch. You better you better been working on your on your block starts because Florida was just stupid fast. And Jeff Demps was the fastest of them all. I mean, this dude has 10 -01, like I'm not joking. 1001 will win you a will win you a lot of races as a professional. We're talking about a high schooler running 1001. And for those of you guys who might be running the fastest 100 meter time of all time by any high schooler is 998 by Matthew Bowling, if I'm not mistaken. I know I know he cracked 10 seconds. Matthew Bowling right now is absolutely killing it right now at Georgia, but he did not play football, so obviously we can't we can't add him onto the list. But I mean, 
Nah, if, if, if y'all go go back, if, if you're if you're too young to remember who Jeff Demps is, go back, look at his Florida Florida Gator highlights. We're talking about somebody. I mean, look at him split that. Both of those defenders had an angle on him, and he just outran it. Yeah, go go back. Do you do your history? Them, them Tim Tebow led no, the Chris Leak led Florida Gator teams. Go go back and look at those those teams led by Jeff Demps and Chris Rainey. Those teams were absolutely filthy with speed. And there you have it. Those are the top five fastest high school football players of all time. Yo, comment down below. Who do you guys think was the biggest surprise? Do you think it was the biggest surprise that Tyree Kill was ranked so low? Or do you think that it was a surprise that there were some other names up there that you might not have heard of? All I know is that when it comes to speed, Football is more than good. They There is so much ridiculously fast talent coming into the NFL year in and year out. I already, I already know that y'all enjoyed this video, so if you did, be sure this video a like. Also, comment down below any other fast, ridiculously fast high school recruits that you guys want me to take a look at. Also, if you haven't already and you got to this point in the video, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on you know all your notifications so you never miss any of these fire videos that we're dropping. And with all that being said, I love and appreciate all you guys. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Ciao.